Hello YouTube, welcome to another installment of the Hulk 181. Last upload we had the back cover with the tape removal and now what I have is methyl cellulose which is on the adhesive that was put on as a result of removing the tape. So we have to remove the adhesive. So this methyl cellulose has been on soaking for about two days or a day and a half. So what I wanna do now is I wanna gently rub it in. And the way I'm gonna rub it in is by using a paintbrush and we're gonna do it in a circular fashion. And hopefully what this did was it lifted the adhesive that was on the actual cover because of the tape removal. So in addition to a circular fashion, I am doing some scrubbing back and forth agitation, as you can see. And the goal is to remove the adhesive as indicated. And just so you know, what is going on is the methyl cellulose will absorb hopefully the adhesive and by doing what I'm doing with the paintbrush it is slowly scrubbing the adhesive off of the cover because it is being absorbed by the adhesive and then in turn the methyl cellulose is absorbing the adhesive if that makes sense I hope it does they're both absorbing one another, they're gelling. See, if I, if I brush it away and we look at this portion right here, you see the methyl cellulose is stuck to the adhesive. That's what I want. I want it stuck on, so then I can slowly massage the methyl cellulose onto the adhesive, and it will act as a slight abrasive lifting the adhesive. So I'm going to do this several times. We're going to let it sit after I do this for a few hours and then I'm going to come back and do it again. And this is acting as a very fine sandpaper and an absorbent. Hopefully it works. If not, we'll do this and then we'll hit it with a few of the solvents to try to loosen up the adhesive and I think it will work if we just take our time and do what we have to do. Remember this book I am taking my time. We got some more methyl cellulose here. I just ordered some more on Amazon so I can liberally use it because I am running out of my products. I did order some um, more Reme paper as well. That should be coming in a few days because we wanna use all nice new products for this book because we're taking our time and we're doing it right. Um, there, the comic collector geek or comic geek collector, I always confuse it, I'm sorry, Alan. He made a comment today that he still thinks that, or he made a comment on my last upload that he still thinks that it's gonna come back a restored grade. I would tell Alan, if he's watching, don't count your chickens until they're hatched. There's no way to tell what it's gonna come back until I am done with the process. So your prediction, my friend, I think, is a little premature. So that's it, YouTube. Stay tuned. I'm gonna come back on this upload in relation to this. We'll let it sit, and then we'll see how it comes out. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, it's been about one hour since I applied the second pile of methyl cellulose on the cover. And I'm going to work it in like I did on the last segment of this upload, but I just wanna make a little correction. 
last segment I mentioned Alan's channel and I was uncertain of the name because I reverse it. It is Comic Collector Geek. And two uploads ago, Alan predicted that if I resubmitted this book, he felt that it would still come back a 0.5 restored. So only time will tell. And everyone is entitled to their opinion. The basis of that opinion, I'm a little uncertain since I just started the process. But hopefully, for my sake, Alan is wrong because I wouldn't be doing this if I felt otherwise. So, Alan, my mission is to prove you wrong in relation to this book. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to time lapse because this whole process can take a few hours and I like doing the time lapse so you can see the work that I put in and then hopefully the results will be what I anticipate they will be with all of the adhesive removed. So here you go, time lapse, enjoy. Okay, guys, this is going to wrap up my time-lapse video for the adhesive removal on the back cover. Now, it came out pretty well, and I just want to say that we're not done with the tape removal. The front came out better than the back. There is some residue I feel here that we will address at a later date, but the back was more difficult and I do still feel the residue here. Now, the methyl cellulose did work, but I did have to use solvents as well. Funny, the back was archival tape and the front was regular scotch tape. And believe it or not, the scotch tape came off just with heat. The archival tape gave me more problem. So we have to work on this more. Another issue is the colors remain, but a fingerprint developed in this section from my finger working on it. So I'm gonna have to maybe start wearing rubber gloves, which I don't like to do but that developed from the acids in my skin, I believe in combination with the solvents. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm about done for now with this cover. And when I start to become done with something, I should walk away just for a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put the back cover in my cold glass press and then what we're gonna do after that is 
we're gonna start working on the front cover with the tape removal and that I have to really take my time doing but I am happy with the results and remember this is pre-aqueous bath once I put the covers in the aqueous bath a lot of this is going to really come out clean and it's going to look a lot better in preparation for the leaf casting. So stay tuned, YouTube. I hope you are enjoying this series and I hope I am not boring you. Take care.